so this morning I was scrolling on TikTok, right? And um, you know, there's just so much content on TikTok. There's just always something popping up. You know, your feed is always bombarded with stuff. But then I kept seeing this one thing, right? So I, I'm I'm kind of a gamer. I really like video games. Um, I don't really have that much time to play them anymore because, well, for you know, I'm obviously busy with a lot of other stuff. So, but when I do have the free time, I like to play video games. And I kept wondering to myself. So in this new basement, we've had some renovations. We have a TV set up and it's pretty nice actually. It's really good. I have a really high quality 4K TV and it's a 75 inch if I'm not mistaken. But I thought to myself, what if I could play my video games on a much larger screen? Now, just, just imagine this. Like what if I could play my video games on a, basically the whole wall, like a huge screen or watch movies or just anything really. Or for, for that matter, for example, let's say you don't have a screen in a certain room, right? You don't have a TV and this and this and that, and you want to find a solution to that, but you don't want to buy a TV because let's be honest, buying a TV now, this can be very expensive. So that wouldn't be necessarily an option. What you could do is you could get a projector because that's very portable and you could put it in every single room. So hear me out. So here, this is my screen, all right? It's pretty big. It might not look like it, but if you could kind of tell, you know, I'm right next to it. <laughs> It gives you a pretty good indicator of what it, what the size of the screen is. Uh, but the best thing about it is that it's actually very thin. But what it isn't is that it's limited in terms of how big I can play my video games on it or just consume any media, right? I mean, the screen, it has its size. It's not like I can make it bigger or smaller. Sure, I mean, I can move the console, the unit closer to the couch. So it would feel like the screen is bigger. But in reality, it's not bigger. I'm just closer to the screen. Does that make any sense? And this, ladies and gentlemen, is my wonderful bedroom. But the thing is, in this bedroom, I'm very limited, right? There's not so much I can do. I mean, I have my bed. I don't have that much space. If I want to watch movies, if I want to consume any media in this room, well, there's not much I can do, right? So there isn't much I can do because, I mean, realistically, this is the bed. This is just other stuff. So there's not really any space. However, there is space if we turn around on the wall over here behind me. And it's a pretty big wall. There's a lot of space there. There's just nothing at the moment. And you know what I'm thinking? If you can have a portable TV screen, then you can pretty much adapt and watch anything on the go. So just think about this. If I use a projector, I can watch movies in my room. I could use this whole wall to watch movies. I could use another wall in the living room anywhere I want to set up another screen. So here, as you'll see, there's my TV and that's great. And down here, you'll see the couch. But if I wanted to use, for example, that wall right there, I could, I could very much use it because the projector allows me to set up anywhere. So let's do that. So this is the projector in question. It is from the brand called Arzen. It has a very nice, clean, matte white finish. Very, very nice. You'll see the ports here. We'll get into detail and all of that. But really quickly, I want to brush up on the main key features it has. It has Dolby Audio, as you'll see here on the top. It is branded. Very nice, sturdy quality finish, which I'm a very big fan of. It has a cool simplistic glass finish in the front. It has a lens cover and we'll get into the projector abilities in a minute, but it has a lens cover in case you want to store it away or you're not using it for the moment. In the back here, you'll see a lot of vents. This is also how you're going to be able to use the sound system that's built into the actual projector. On top, I'll have a close-up shot of this. It's not really easy to see from this angle, but there's the power button, there's the OK features, directional arrows, and a back feature, so you can use all of that. But if you're not, don't, you won't have to stay close to this. You have a remote that comes with the projector itself. It is nice. It's a little bit bigger. It is a little small and it feels very light. It's not the most high quality remote. However, it is convenient because you'll be able to control everything on the get go. Now, my favorite thing about this projector is that it has a built in interface. You have preset buttons. You have a Netflix, YouTube. You have a browser prime video, which is great. Okay. So sitting down here into the living room, you'll notice that right now I'm going to be using the projector itself. I'm going to set it up on the screen over there. And uh, most of the time you'll probably be wondering, okay, so how do I use this in a situation where I make sure that it's portable, right? Because as I said before, I mean, I have a screen, I could use my screen to game. However, I want to be able to use this in a more portable way. I want to be able to have more freedom and just kind of defer my setups, right? So if I want to use that screen maybe and play video games on there, or maybe I have a different setup, then I could definitely use other walls. And I'm definitely going to show you how to use it in a bedroom because maybe that's where I'm going to be using this for the majority of the time. But for that part, you really don't need that much to set up. I, I, I really feel like this can be a daunting experience and it can be a little bit confusing for some people just because they don't really know how to approach a projector. But it's very simple. I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. 
So now with the projector lit up and in function, you'll notice here that the projection is actually working. If I start to move it, the image is gonna start to distort a little bit and then it started gonna, it's gonna start calibrating by itself. It has this auto calibration feature. It works with the system. And if you let it do its thing, there you go. Now it's officially calibrated. Okay, so I'll try to show you guys as best as possible. This is a temporary setup. Now, obviously it's not the most pretty, but the point of me showing you this is that you can be versatile. You can set it up as you want. So the projector is fully functional. Just with one cable, you just have to plug it in. It's basically plug and play. And I put it at an angle so I can use it on the wall. And as you'll see, if you take a quick look, I'll zoom in for you guys. It looks nice, it auto calibrated. It's using the size of the screen. Obviously there's a lamp in the corner. So if you wanna make this setup more optimal, you'd have to remove that, but I'll keep it for the moment just because I am in a position where I can fully see. This looks great. And the setup process is really easy. I'm gonna set it up and I'll show you guys in a second what everything is, looks like together. And we'll talk about all the features. So what you're looking at right now is the home interface of the actual projector itself. It's really nice. I was not expecting to have something this, this really intuitive. It's super simple, really easy to navigate. It even has a bunch of stuff. It has games here. Okay, so as I'm sitting behind the screen, I'm gonna try and see everything and set up with you guys the whole projector. So I finally got some batteries into the controller itself. I got some batteries, it is now fully functional. Um, this is not obviously not ideal, but I'm gonna try and set it up for you guys. It has a very simple, volume bar which works really really well super easy the interface is also really clean and just self intuitive so now i'm going to check on the picture mode here i'm going to try and see if i can up the brightness because it really looks very very normal so you can go on custom and fix your settings as much as you would like you have a picture mode for cinema you have sports which is already a little bit brighter you have vivid which is a little bit more colorful and a high bright setting now what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to go on custom and i'm going to up increase the settings myself. In the same system, you can also change all of your audios. So here on the sound style, you'll have audio, you have standard style, digital output, you can have it to auto. Obviously, I'm gonna be choosing the Dig Dolby Digital because it is part of the actual projector itself. So I'm gonna be using that, if you can kinda hear it in the video. If you take a closer look down here, you'll see this is my PlayStation 5, and right next to it, I have my PlayStation 4. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the PlayStation 5 and I'm gonna set it up to the projector just so you guys can have a quick look. I showed you how it is consuming media, but I'm really excited to see how it is playing video games on this projector. It's gonna be super simple, just literally one plug and play. If the projector's already plugged in to the power source, then you just have to plug in your PlayStation. I'm not gonna be moving it from here. I actually have a long HDMI cable that I'm gonna be pulling it out and I'm gonna be bringing all the way that to that side. So I found a better setup this time around for the projector. This is a lot better and it fits a lot nicer on the actual TV. You'll see here, here on the side, there you go. You have your input, HDMI plugs in super quickly, easy. You also have USBs, uh, USB 3.0s. If you ever you wanna use them for maybe, I don't know, you wanna plug like a, a fire stick or maybe like a Chromecast and all of these things, that is a possibility. However, I really do think that the HDMI is your best bet. You can literally just plug anything by HDMI at this point. Now, first thing I wanna point out here for 1080p resolution, it looks fantastic. You really can't tell it's 1080p. The game is running super smoothly. Obviously I have the game on performance mode, so it's literally, there's nothing that's gonna be impacted from the PlayStation 5. Now, obviously when you're looking at this, there's no performance or no, and any of those things that are gonna be hindered in the sense that we're just looking at a different style of image. You're looking at a projection. Everything that's running on the PlayStation 5 will be running the same. So if you have a performance mode and everything, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna look the same. It's gonna look super smooth. However, this projection is really nice. It, it really feels like I'm immersed in the game. It is so nice. And I can only imagine how nice it is at night because right now it's obviously pretty bright, but at nighttime when it's pitch black, it sh it's gonna be so much fun to play on this. And to be honest, the Dolby audio on the actual projector is really nice. It, obviously I'm super close to it, so it makes, it reproduces a nice sound, but it really does feel like it's coming from the screen or from the game and not so much from the little box in front of me. That's really nice. I, I think this is, yeah, no, it, it's, it's so nice. The immersion on this is crazy. Doesn't that look nice? Guys, look at the setup. It has fully adjusted in the room and the bedroom is actually really nice. Now, the only downside is that you have to keep your projector on the bed, which I've done here. But other than that, it looks amazing. Like it's taking up so much of the screen. That looks fantastic. No, this is actually really sick. So if I go on YouTube in a bedroom like this, where the small, the space is smaller and you don't really need that much, it's, it's just fantastic. It's perfect. You can watch 
just about any content like if i was to put this right here super chill relax what when you switch to a network you can count on and afford it's a good example of how the speakers sound also oh, this is wow. nice guys you just have a tv on the go if you want to set the mood or something in the room you can do that there you go it's airing on the whole thing projectors right there super simple setup and the speakers are great so look at that i could just lay back and if i want to watch something i just watch it i don't know i know i could just lay down like this if i want to watch something press back on the controller and i have youtube here super relax anything honestly and the best part about this is that you can also so the software itself has a pre-built screen share feature as you'll see here if you look on the screen really quickly it has this last option this green screen share this is one specifically is for ios i have here my phone on the side so what i'm going to show you guys is how to set it up on the screen you just have to click on screen share ios once that is on you want to go onto your iphone here you want to click on the screen mirroring and then you should be able to see it if they're both connected on the same uh wi-fi you'll be able to see it so here e easy prg you want to click on that and it should connect relatively easily it's going to wait for it to stop showing up and there you go you have screen mirroring fully activated so if ever you wanted to consume any media from your phone i don't know maybe you want to stream some content and i want to watch a youtube video i can do that put it on the side and there you go the mirroring works super fine just like on apple tv really good the screen itself like just the projector at 1080p works really really well it's very nice you got a good amount of depth a good amount of quality super nice you can consume 4k content and you would never tell that it's on 1080p the projector itself has a really fantastic lens super nice the audio comes from the speaker itself on the projector so it's really really nice actually i really like this i i'm pretty sure i'm going to be using this projector a lot more than i think i am especially here in the bedroom just because it's so convenient so easy just project it up on the wall no setup needed nothing it's just super easy now with that said if i go back to the home screen you have access to all these other stuff you can connect to your netflix account i typically like to use prime video so you go preset prime video into the actual controller itself super easy log you zoom into prime if you want to sign in you can use your phone as well so that's what i'm going to do here in this minute there we go so we're watching a movie just it actually feels like we're at the theater this is really nice i really like a projector it gives just a different vibe just a different dynamic look i guess what i'm trying to say is that if you are looking to get into a projector experience and you've never really had the chance to get into one this could be a, a great opportunity this projector has a high quality resolution image which provides up to 1080p it's great a lot of content can be consumed at 4k and you won't really notice the difference it has a multitude of ports you can use the hdmi like i did for my playstation 5 if you have other consoles obviously you can just mix and match and adapt as you wish it has a series of other ports as well for example you wanted to use the usbs for a fire stick or a chromecast you can very much do that but i think my favorite part about the projector itself is that it has its own native software which makes things so much easier you just pick up the remote it's super easy it has pre-built in buttons click on the youtube button and then you're ready to watch so convenient and i really do appreciate that and i want to give a huge thanks to arzen for sponsoring the video and sending the projector my way i will admit it was a little bit of a daunting experience i wasn't exactly sure how it would go about a projector but in the process of using it in the last few days it's been very very enjoyable and i think you guys will find some value out of it too so if you are interested i've made sure to leave a link in the description down below for you guys go ahead and check it out make sure you grab yourself one it's probably one of the best ones on the market right now for this price point great native software and great overall experience thank you once again orzen for sponsoring the video and on that note i have a lot of tv shows and a lot of movies to catch up on so i'm going to be sitting back and enjoying this on the projector for a little while and until next time i wish you the best of luck in everything you do deuces